how that looks right now. It looked okay earlier, but um, I actually have really thick hair, but I uh, have to like, it's, it's only about this long, so I have to pin up some of it, so I don't have much to like cover the tracks, uh, but I just really wanted to get extensions just so I could sometimes have like a Barbie fantasy instead of wearing a wig, because I don't like to wear the wigs for too long. And then also, I had to get two different shades because the shade of my hair varies depending on um, if I've washed it correctly or not because I have to use the purple shampoo to get this like icy color because if you can tell that roots are a little more gold. Um, so sometimes these don't match and sometimes they do. So if you care, that's that. So, um, obviously Little Duke is here. The background is very unappealing. I know. I'm really, really sorry. I just, like, I have so much stuff in here because I'm getting ready for Christmas and I had to, uh, hang dry all of my clothes in this room because we don't have very much space in our apartment. So I have a whole clothing rack, like, right behind me. I don't know if you can see. I don't want to show it because I'm worried that people might get offended if they see, like, my bras hanging there or something. <laughs> uh, so everything had to, like, get shifted out of the way. So I have all these, like, boxes up here that's all, like, Christmas presents for people. And then there's a dog right there, but I don't think anyone will complain about that. Because he is very cute. Okay. So, I'm going to just jump right into it. I'm going to be tapping. And like, squeezing things and playing with things. And I'm going to be talking or like whispering a little bit. So if you don't like tapping sounds, then I don't advise watching this. But the first thing that I'm going to show you is, I'm a little embarrassed about it. I like incense and I have a lot of incense, but I never had like incense cones and this is like one of the most like generic like waterfall burners you can get and I'm sure it's really low quality and probably not like ethically sourced um, but I just was so curious to see like the smoke like the way that it water falls down. If you have never seen one of these before, it's really cool actually. It's kind of crazy. But I love the way that it smells. It smells different to me than the incense sticks, but that's, I've only tried a handful of different kinds of these cones so far. And for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to be burning one of um, because they're more easily accessible to me right now, considering all of the clutter. It smells good though. But the, the smoke just flows through here and then travels down into here. It's really cool. They don't last that long, but I have a lot of I think that 
that's the brand or I forgot the brand but it's like the brand that I see all the time in stick form and in cone form in like you know stores and corner stores and spiritual stores and metaphysical stores it's burning a little oh, there we go I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit until it starts to flow and then I'll show you really hard. 
hard time focusing in school. I had, uh, I think they call it maladaptive daydreaming, where I spent so much time just checking out and daydreaming, and I would have to, like, it almost reminds me of, like, meditation, being in class, I'd have to, like, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, and I could focus for, like, maybe a minute or two before I was, like, gone again, and sometimes it was only in classes that I had a hard time in or that I thought were boring, but often it was, like, every class, if I was really, really, like, stuck in a daydream, you know, like, I'd try to come out of it, but I'd just go right back into it, and I used to daydream constantly for years and years and years, and I also had a really hard time when I was focusing, I had a really hard time not moving around and uh, in particular doing things with my hands so I would rip up papers and oh, hold on it's so beautiful look at that wow she's gorgeous oh my god I love that so much okay I was saying I would like destroy papers I would rip things up I would draw all over stuff I would roll paper not really tight I would fold papers I, I felt like I had like pressure in my hands so I needed to like exert pressure on stuff um, and then when I started like drawing class really helped but not all of my teachers were okay with that um, and I feel that when I get anxious, I get fidgety with my hands, and if I have nothing else, then it will, like, I will start to, like, shred the skin on my hands and stuff, like, pick up, which I know is pretty common for people with anxiety. So, I really wish that I had had something like this sooner. I will say that the noise could potentially be distracting for someone in, like, class or someone who needs silence, like... I, uh, my husband and I went to go Christmas shopping yesterday together, and I took it in the car, and it was really fun, but when we were watching TV, I wanted to play with it, but I felt, um, conscious that it might be kind of annoying to hear the clicking. <laughs> but the other thing about this is, oh my god, I just love the way it, like, looks. It's so effective. It's, like, so simple. Is that um, I hate slugs. I hate them. I hate slugs. I hate snails. I hate anything slimy and gelatinous. I hate John with a hug. I have a particular vendetta against brown garden slugs, but I also hate banana slugs because I grew up in Northern California where there's a lot of banana slugs, at least over on the coast. behind. I like this slug a lot. He's very cute. Very cute. Okay. The next thing I want to show you is a little gross, so fair warning that I have cleaned it, but it's really stained from years and years of use. This is one of the balls uh, for the men's. 
obviously these are really cheap, you know, but she has like a really big one, and it's stunning. Yeah.